Hey everyone, my name is Tiksha Mehta and I'm here from IELTS Prep by Leap Scholar. In this video, I'm going to show you the five most common errors that students make in the listening module of the IELTS exam. Okay, error number one is thinking that the audio in the listening exam is going to play again. Well, I hate to break it to you, it's an exam, not a DJ, so he's not going to replay your audio. Also, it plays only once and you do not have any control over the audio whatsoever, which means you can't pause it or rewind or fast forward or play it. It just starts and then it ends automatically after 30 minutes with appropriate pauses in the middle. So you do not have any access over the controls of the audio. Error number two is confusing between the singulars and plurals when you're writing your answers. What I mean by that is in the listening audio, you need to write the word that you hear. You cannot change or modify the word anyhow. So for example, if you heard a singular word, let's say map, but you write your answer in plural, maps, you wouldn't get marks because you've changed the word. Similarly, if you hear a plural word, let's say for example, schools, but you write it in the singular way, school, once again, you would not be receiving the appropriate marks. So please listen very carefully to whether the word that you're hearing is singular or plural and write it the way it is being said in the audio. Do not modify the word at all. Error number three is not knowing the date and time formats and just going with the flow and writing um, the date and time in a very casual manner. So please go ahead and check out what are the internationally accepted formats for writing the date and the time and use the same. So let me give you an example. In the IELTS exam, the 24 hour clock, the 24 hour time format is not followed. You need to use the 12 hour time format. All right. And please do not repeat what is already in the question. So if AM or PM is already written, you do not need to write those again. And the same goes with the date. So there are certain uh, ways of writing the date in the correct way. For example, let's say if today is March and 24th of March, um, things which would be accepted would be 24 March or March 24 or even 24 slash 03. If the question asks you to write only a number, you could go ahead and write 24 slash 03. Mistake number four is writing what is already mentioned in the question. So either not understanding the paraphrasing or not recognizing the synonym. So for example, imagine if the question says uh, you need to write a single dash. All right. And imagine the audio that plays says you need to write one paragraph. So what would you write as the answer? Did you say one paragraph? Mm, that would be wrong because you've repeated the word one, which means single, which is already given to you. So you've repeated something which is already there in the question. Uh, a simpler example would be, imagine if uh, the currency is already mentioned. If the question says dash pounds, and the audio says 13 pounds. So uh, again, if you write the word pounds again, even though your answer is correct, it would be marked wrong because you've repeated what is already there in the question. And my final tip, the fifth common error is not taking the listening exam seriously. It is an easy exam and I agree with that. Uh, but so is swimming and driving a car. But we don't actually jump into a pool without learning those skills. And we don't start driving a car just because it's easy. We learn how to drive it. It's the same with the listening module as well. This module can really help you elevate your entire overall band. So use that wisely and make sure you get a band 9 in it, not an 8.5. Do not settle for an 8.5. Trust me, 9 is possible. Please practice enough, especially the third and fourth sections. You can go through the Cambridge IELTS official books for example, Cambridge IELTS 17 or Cambridge IELTS 16, or you could take expert help by joining up for our courses. And you need to prepare very well so that you can get a band nine here so that you get some relaxation in your other modules. Do not take this module too lightly. 
I have seen some really good students also get stuck at a band 7.5, which honestly is not great for the listening module. All right, now that we've come to the end of this video, I just wanted to let you know that most of our preparation tips and videos are free on YouTube. So if you want us to continue the same way, please show us your support by clicking on the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe if you're planning to take the IELTS exam because we are going to provide you the fastest and all of the official news and tips. So please go ahead, click on the like and subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.